It's been a while since I've recorded videos from home. It's probably been a couple of weeks at least. And just to give you a rundown of what's going on, my yearling bull that I loaned out came back. He also has a new home, but I'm going to let him hang out around here. And I'm going to explain why in a second. As I've mentioned before, I do artificially inseminate all of the cows that I can. And we do not normally keep a herd bull or a cleanup bull on our premise. Part of the reason that Leroy went to another farm was so that I could try and catch my F1 Angus Wagyu crosses AI to a purebred Wagyu bull. Well, the vet had to come out on Saturday to do our certificate of veterinary inspections for our two December Herford calves that are going to a show this weekend. And while that vet was here, I had him preg check the cows. As I've mentioned before, we don't always know what those cows are carrying or if they're even bred. I use Estrotect breeding indicators on them and I change them out regularly as they get scratched off to try and figure out who's bred and who's not. The problem with that method is sometimes when cows are in heat, they will mount other cows. So some of these were getting scratched off and I would switch them out and I honestly had no idea who was bred and who wasn't. Well, the vet was here. I had him take his ultrasound and check my cows, every single one of them that could be pregnant, every female that I have that is of breeding age. And as it turns out, I believe it was five AI calves is what I'm expecting between now and June, which is good. There were only three cows open, one of them being my 13 and a half year old registered Hereford, Emma Lou. She is kind of old and she actually almost passed in March. She was down out in the field to what I suspect was hardware. I managed to get her up, like before she ended up down out in the field, she was acting strangely in this barn and I had checked on her before I went to one of the FFA speaking contests and I saw that she was acting off. So that morning I preemptively dosed her with a magnet because she had never been given a magnet in her entirety of her life. Anyway, so she's old. She weaned her heifer calf, which is going to the show this weekend. And I just kind of want to see if I can get one more calf out of her, even if that's like her undoing. Um, I would be willing to bottle feed a calf if I just got one more calf out of this cow, because that's how much I love this cow. Her genetics is the foundation of all of my registered Herefords that I have. Of course she's spoiled probably part of the reason that she hasn't been caught or bred back yet is because she's losing her teeth so i'm going to make sure as we progress into winter that i'm supplementing her with something because i was going to send her to the auction at the end of august i talked it over with my husband and we came to the conclusion that this cow would die on our farm because the entire reason that i had cows to begin with was because of this cow. So all of these animals that I have now are a result. I acquired, even the Angus, I acquired the Red Angus because I had Herefords that I knew would be moving in with me, Emma Lou being the matriarch. So anyway, one of those calves will be a Red Angus Wagyu Cross. It is a heifer. They were right at the spot because I lutealized almost all of them in June. There was one that was bred in June. I know she's due right after Thanksgiving, but I lutealized the rest of those females because they were checked open back in June. So once that vet left in June, it was the same guy that preg checked them this time. When he was going down the line, the Angus is expecting an F1 Angus Wagyu pepper. And I have a couple that are expecting bulls. So my frontier bull that I had last year that I actually sold in August as a yearling, um, as a breeding bull, I'm expecting the same exact matchup with that cow and that bull. And I'm hoping, and it is a bull. He actually, when he checked him, he's like, yep, she's expecting a bull. I'm like, this is great. She had a phenomenal calf last year. So I'm excited for that. Two other ones were bred to Power Surge. That's Boyd Power Surge. He was just a cheap Herford bull that my tank guy had on hand. He's registered. So I was like, sure, I'll get some of those and we will stick them in some cows and see if they catch. The one that is expecting at the end of November is another Boyd Blueprint calf. And I'm really hoping 
that it will be a heifer because I've tried to buy some heifers for my children to show. Like I wanted to buy them this year in anticipation of them showing them next year. And in the auction I was bidding on, which like the guy lives like an hour from me, had an online auction and those heifers all went over 4,000. If you're keeping score at home, I teach at a low income school district and our salary kind of sucks compared to like every neighboring school. So I can't really afford that on my school salary. And usually the income from the farm goes to paying taxes and all operating expenses. But anyway, I digress. So my children and I and my husband are going to a show in Erie County this weekend we may take the cows up tomorrow night. So my job tonight is to work on fitting them. And then tomorrow, as soon as I get home from school, I'm going to full body wash them again. I didn't have a great quality whitening shampoo. And with Herefords, you really got to whiten them up, especially their hooves. I have a lot of white hooved cattle. So the two calves that I have, like the bull's not that bad, but the heifer's got a lot of white spots. So I really need to work on that tomorrow. My job tonight is going to be blowing them and clipping them potentially because it's rained pretty much all evening. It's cold. It's miserable. I am not enjoying the outdoor weather right now.